Hey guys, this is Josh for Thirst Up Squad 100. Today we're gonna be, I'm doing a video on how to make replica sappy plates for your plate carrier. These are all the things you will need. Any kind of saw will work. I'm using a battery powered skill saw because it's easier to cut it than. You can use a hand saw, it'll take longer, but you can definitely use it. And um, paint is optional. I like to paint it black because it looks better. And this, the tape measure is also optional. You don't have to have it, but it makes it easier to know what length to cut it. And of course you need some kind of wood. It can be plywood, it can be like really thin wood. It can be any kind of wood. The thicker, the heavier, so it's your, your choice. So I've got about three quarter inch thick plywood. It makes for, it fits the best perfect because that's about how thick it is. So now I'm going to start the video, or start the process. I'm going to set the camera off to the side. First, take your plate carrier. This is my NC Star Molly plate carrier. Take your tape measure and measure how long it is inside. So it is about 13 and a half inches. So I'll, I'll cut it at 15 just to make sure I have extra. And it's nine inches wide. Oh, I forgot to bring something out to market. Yeah, but yeah I, mean, I can remember where it's at. About right there. So take your saw. I'm using a skill saw. If you're not allowed to use one, don't use it. Then just cut it. Ooh, battery is almost dead. So there's your. You want to make sure it's still nine inches. Perfect, right on the line. A little bit under, but it's okay. Huh? And then about 15 inches. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Now I'm going to round off the edges here so it fits in the plate carrier better and more comfortable. It's not exactly perfect, but it'll make it. You can get your plate carrier, flip it up in just to see how well it fits. So it sticks out about an inch and a half. And that should do. Test it out. It fits. And it closes and now it is nice and stiff. Now for the last process. This part is optional. You don't have to do this. Get all the sawdust off it. I spray paint it black because it looks more realistic and just looks better than the plywood. Uh, again, this is optional. You don't have to spray paint it. It just looks better when it's black. And then, of course, let it dry before you put it in your vest. Or you're going to get it all black. Try not to spray paint your fingers.
So there we go. That is the cheap and pretty easy way to make a sappy plate for an airsoft vest. Now you definitely will not feel BB hits with this. So you don't have to worry about that. You will never feel them, I guarantee it. So this has been my video on how to make sappy plates for an airsoft plate carrier. So thanks for watching guys. And if you do this, don't cut yourself or paint yourself. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.